Hi, everyone, and welcome to the special simulcast of the Neil Haley Show and Celebrity Interviews live from the Grotto with Greg Hanna. Greg, what's going on, man? How are you? Doing amazing. How about you, Neil? Did you have a good week? Oh, I did a fantastic week, and our guests today are Mel Harris and Gene Pope of Queen of Knives. Guys, thanks for stopping by, and uh, this must be a very collaborative project that you guys uh, got involved with. I'll ask that question first, and then we'll go into more of the details of the project. Well, as, as uh, it's a very that, collaborative. Oh, yeah, go ahead. You go first. <laughs> well, I was okay. going to say it's yes, a very collaborative sorry. project. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you go, Gene. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Um, I, there's a slight delay. Um, anyway, we um, th this was collaborative in every sense, um, both between uh, especially the actors who uh you know it was we were shooting at the end towards the end of covid uh protocols so basically that took some money out of the film so basically we didn't have a rehearsal week so everybody had to come on set with their characters whole and the casting and the the, the talent of the people in the movie was such that everybody showed up on the first day of set of, of shooting a scene prepared and ready and that's something you don't always see. And it was something that I was extremely grateful that that everybody was helping each other with. Uh, and and that kind of collaboration, you know, extended to the crew as well, who we, we had to shoot this very quickly, relatively quickly. And and there was a lot getting done <laughs> in a day. And these guys were hustling and hustling. John Delgado did a great job directing. Uh, uh, Lindsay Joy, uh, you know, her script is just wonderful. In post production, you know, our our editor. That's where it all comes together. You know, it's like all pieces, and then you have no idea exactly what's going to happen. But in the edit, man, it just started to come together, and we went, "Wow, this is going to work." <laughs> yeah, that's great. Hey, a uh, question for Mel now. So now, Gene, you don't have to step on her. <laughs> I will Mel. try really hard. <laughs> Mel, what drew you to the uh, role of uh, Kathy? Well, she she's there. She's on the page. She's wonderful. I had played her in the prequel, I guess it is now, King of Knives. And but the the, the sequel, Queen of Knives, which is opening tomorrow, uh, it, she's a completely different character. She has uh, left her marriage, the long time marriage, and she's out of it. And she's on her journey. She's on a path. She's on a route, and she doesn't know what it is. Uh, she discovers a new love in a woman which is really new for Kathy, who's been in a long-term marriage. She's watching her ex go through his ministrations of trying to find himself. And she's watching her daughters who, ha who are evolving and changing. Um, and yet, they're still a family. They're still the Bonetto family. They still have these really interesting dinners. Um, this dinner has a lot more uh, elements to it than previously. And Gene, would you say specifically enough, your character in a lot of ways... Uh... It evolves in this in this as well, right? Yes, there's there's no doubt uh, it, he evolves. Um, I mean, literally, yes. You know, as 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 you know, speaking to other actors, it's like the preparation is is so important, and and there were a lot of decisions that went into embedding the life I once had into the character of Frank, and then taking it from there, and then the reality of who his family is, what they are like to him, what do they mean to him? And, and that's, that's what created, you know, the character of Frank. But uh, yes, I, um, uh, it's definitely based on reality and uh, Frank and, but, but, you know, I put my own twist to it, I guess. Uh, so uh, yeah, you can see little flickers of my past in there. <laughs> <laughs> not not you guys... turning flames. <laughs> Would, would you guys say that you should watch this in order, or could you just jump in into into the new series, or what do you think? Uh, you can you can absolutely uh, see the uh, uh, see Queen of Knives first. It was designed to be as a standalone movie, and as you can see, that the the things that you don't know are slowly revealed through the movie, and uh, the audience really likes that. And uh, and then if you want uh, to see the behind this, you know, what happened leading up to it, you can always then see the prequel of King of Knives, in my opinion. All right. And Mel, uh, what made you like excited about this opportunity, getting to, to go do this after, you know, King of Knives to do this? Uh, well, I mean, the experience of King of Knives was fabulous. Amazing group, really loved working with it, surrounded by a wonderful troop of actors and crew. 
Uh, but again, Kathy's journey and how she's changing and how the family is changing. And watching that family go through painful things, funny things, touching things, that was really what brought me back to it. And that's that's key, right? Bring you back and bring you back the character and the character changes so much. So then people are going to be asking, right? Mel, wh what's next, right? For you and your character. Absolutely. There's growth there. You can see growth in the character and it's, and it's fun. It's a ball to play. It's fun to watch. It's just great to do. All right. Now, uh, we only have a short period of time to talk to you guys. So I'm going to ask Jean, why should people check this out? What What is your big uh, like play and the final thing for our listeners and viewers why they should watch watch the movie? Um, the real reason is that, you know, listen, I'm the first one that says, you know, you never know how things are going to turn out. You do a film, you know, some famous filmmakers can make a film and they 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 were the, they're brilliant minds and then all it just doesn't connect with the audience i can say for sure now <laughs> after having almost getting an ulcer worrying about it but the, sitting in the back of the theaters where we were screening previews and stuff like this that the audience absolutely gets it a hundred percent and they the the vast majority like 99 percent like the movie and so for me, that's a, a, it's, I feel so grateful that with all the work that everybody put in, Mel put in, and, uh, and the entire cast and crew, that it's going to be a thing that people will recommend to other people. And we got a lot of that from people coming out of the theaters. They said, I'm going to come back and I want to bring all my friends as well because they got to see this. Fantastic. Now, Greg has a question for both of you guys. Usually we don't have two people we're interviewing, but he has a question he asks all his celebrities. Go ahead, Greg, with that question. Yeah, I, I guess we'll, uh, we'll start with Mel and then and we'll do G next. So, so Mel, tell me, what's the most important thing in life you feel you've ever learned? Um, patience, temperance, and unconditional love. Fantastic. Gene, same question. Uh, I would say that um, you don't base your life based on what's going on in any particular day. Your life is everything that went before, and there are more things that you can do going forward. But I, I also agree with Mel that kindness goes a long way in understanding and acceptance. All right. Gene, tomorrow it debuts. Where's the best place people can check it out and stuff? Check out the film. Well, it's on it's on a lot of the uh, video on demand places. So you've got Amazon, iTunes, uh, YouTube. There's a whole gaggle of them. I don't have that list in front of me, but there's about 14 of them in satellite <laughs> uh, dish. You know, just uh, if you, if you want to know any more information, you can go to uh, queenofknivesthefilm.com, and and we will have that listed there as of tonight. I right, appreciate it, guys. We got to check it out, and uh, great to have the conversation with you guys. And best of luck with the film. Great. Super. Thank you for All right. having us. Thank you. Thank you, guys. All right. That was a special Thank simulcast of the Neil Haley Show and Celebrity Interviews live from the Grotto. Greg Hanna, guys. Take care.